<laughs> In one of these cars is the tiniest of pieces of ivory. It would be almost impossible for a person to find, but for a specially trained dog, it takes minutes. These will be the first ever ivory tracking dogs to be stationed in Tanzania's ports, and this is their graduation. From now on, the handlers and their dogs are in the fight against the ivory trade together. At first, I, I just love dogs, but now I, re I really have that love, most love and affection to them. Bonding and love in dogs is a major thing. This dog will help me much in my work out there. The organizers say that this is the first step towards a canine center of excellence that could train hundreds of dogs for work across Africa. But they will be up against some of the world's most dangerous and lucrative criminal syndicates. Tanzania is one of the world's poaching hotspots and 85% of savannah elephant ivory is trafficked through East Africa. They've been using dogs for years here to target poachers, but these new recruits will be used to catch the smugglers. And that could result in the dogs finding much bigger hauls of ivory. We are not good at uh, detecting movements, detecting ivory or rhino horn or any other animal contraband that is hidden in luggage. And so these dogs are very, very key. Every seizure means a dead elephant. Every seizure means a dead rhino, you know. So we, these dogs are very, very key. Half the handlers will be sent to Kenya and the other half will remain in Tanzania. They'll be supported by teams of investigators and police. And as for the dogs, they're often considered to be a loyal friend to man, but now they're helping the rest of nature too.